Look Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Together Time Outdoors. This is Carson here and we're at the marina of Yellowstone Lake waiting for our boat to pull up. What are we fishing for? We are fishing for mostly lake trout and cutthroat. Yep. thing is getting yeah it's right here Carson second hookup we lost the first one Laker no oh, cutthroat that's cutthroat that's Joe oh. nice fish Whoa. Yep. Boy, that nice? what's that about a three three and a half pounder yep nice. you've got a cutthroat bud I think that's the biggest fish I caught in my life right there all right whoa he's huge yeah. good I'm job take bud. A picture with that you want your picture with him, bud? Yeah. Video's good enough? Yeah, if we have video of it, that's good enough. That didn't take long. Mm -mm. Alright, you, so you don't want to? Yep. You good? Yep. Alright, that helps. Get him back in the water fast. Yep. There he goes. Perfect. Alright. Looks like you've got the hang of it yeah. now, bud. Never been skunked. <laughs> Not that small. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it can do more of a one here. They kind of look like muskies a little bit. That's, yeah. that's such a nice sound. Lake trout is. Well, I like this book better. Yeah, it's easier to reel. You can steady yourself if you put your knees against the side of the boat. Yeah. Here he comes. Don't, don't, don't reel him up through the island. Another laker. Ooh, peanut. That's a peanut, alright. That's a full Michael. Joe. If I was evil, I could have taken it. This feels like a better one. Alright, well, we're hooked up. Laker Joe. Yep. You still filming? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's a nice one. Keep pressure on him, bud. Like another laker, bud. Oh, one. A little son, son of a gun. Carson's fourth fish. What do you have? Three lakers and a cutthroat. Yep. We improved our catch rate a little bit, huh? Hey, man, you catch anything out there a little bit deeper? Yep. Yeah, I got a couple bites, one in the boat. Very nice. Alrighty, 
Oh, here he comes. Okay. Looks like a nice one. Keep real. Okay. Alright, stop. And then we flip, uh, flip, flip that flip up. That. Yep. That's yep. okay. Yep. It's deceiving how clear that water is. You can see him flashing that far back. Yeah. A little different. That's getting a monster. He turned and tried bulldog. It's even hard for you. I tell you what, when he turns and goes against it. Normally you catch those ones like that, it's a cutthroat, and that's what that is. A cutthroat. Is it a cutthroat? Yeah, out there. There you go. Wow. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Oh. That makes the trip for me right there. Holy Sorry, bud. Holy crap! Glad you took that one. <laughs> Holy wow. And look and, and look at its look at it how how it was hooked. That yeah. wasn't coming out. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! Wow. Another cutthroat, Joe. Good job. Oh, that's Good nice. Good job. Can you hold it? Is he fighting you? Hold on to that pole like you mean it, Gee. Slip it on my hat and go help her. Huh? Slip it on my hat and go help her. Uh, oh, Joe, don't right reel. Here, don't, right don't, here. don't. Oh, that's. Oh, that's a cutty. Hold on to that pole like you mean it, bud. Carson has eight fish in the boat. If he gets this one, it'll be number nine. He has six Lakers and two cutthroats so far. He's getting close from the looks of the angle and the line. Right. Don't reel it up too tight, but right oh, oh, he's going nuts. That's another Laker, ain't it? No, no? is it? Oh, oh. oh. that's a catch. Yeah, right at the boat. <laughs> Was that a cutthroat? Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't a big ones, but it, it wasn't a small one. I'm not Good saying job. it was a small one, but we've been getting the big ones here. Good job, buddy. So how did you like your Yellowstone Lake fishing trip? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. What'd you like catching better, lake trout or cutthroats? Uh, probably the cutthroat. No, Cut. lake trout, lake, lake trout. Lake trout. Hmm. I like the cutthroats a little better myself. I think they fought harder. So obviously we're at home now. We're back from vacation. We wanted to film a little uh, tips and uh, advice segment on the tail end of this video in case anyone out there watching was interested in going on a trip like what we did. Uh, we booked a four hour charter and you can book those in two hour segments. Each two hour segment is $220. You can go anywhere from two to eight hours is the full day. And those reservations need to be made through a company called Zantera, which is X-X-A-N-T-E-R-R-A. -R -R they book a lot of lodging and activities, even some meal reservations in Yellowstone Park. So that's who we booked it through. Uh, our trip, we went 
in the very first two time slots of the day. And uh, it's, what was it, quarter to eight in the morning we left? Eight o'clock? Yeah, I think, I think that's when we went out of the dock. Something like that. And uh, on the drive to the dock, and that was in late July, it got down to 38 degree, degrees. So it was a little bit cold in the morning. But once you were out there for like 40 minutes, it warmed up a lot. And it got really hot by the time we left. So if anyone does that trip, I would strongly recommend uh, layered clothing, like long pants, long shirt for the ride out. It wasn't, I wore shorts and I was okay, but I think the average person would probably be a little chilly. But you definitely want to take a hat, sunglasses, and sunscreen because the sun gets intense. And I got sunburnt to the point where uh, my nose blistered and peeled. And uh, I didn't have a hat. I did not use sunscreen. I didn't take sunglasses. I got a headache from squinting into that sun. And it was pretty bad. So anyone doing that trip, I would recommend those three things. Hat, sunscreen, sunglasses. And I had a hat on and sunscreen on. And I drank water about every 30 minutes and I was fine. Yep, and that's another good point. You definitely want to take something to drink while you're out there. Even if you're just on a two hour, especially later in the day when it's hot, you, you need to hydrate yourself because you'll get dehydrated. You don't really need snacks for a two hour, but since we were on a four hour, we took, and we didn't eat breakfast, so we just took some snacks out there. But uh, the fishing itself, the uh, Zantara group has eight boats and they communicate with each other on the radio to let each other know where they're catching fish. And it appeared to us that as they were really helpful, they really worked as a group to try to get the people who were out there fishing to catch as many fish as possible. And uh, we caught, what, 19 fish? Yeah, and speaking about the, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, there is a porta potty on one of the islands in case you really need to go. Yeah, that, that option is there, but, uh, I thought that they really worked well together to put you on fish. We caught six cutthroats, 13 lakers. The boats were probably around 25 foot, very stable. The, the water didn't get rough. Um, you would have to really be someone who gets seasick to have that affect you. And we weren't out there just drifting. You, you were trolling the entire way. They had downriggers, had a couple lines out, and we caught fish pretty consistently throughout the whole trip. A couple things I would recommend though, if you're going to go for a two hour trip, I would recommend one of the later trips because the guide told us sometimes they don't always hit from day to day in the same spots. And that held true for us. Right off the bat in the morning, we went to a spot where they caught fish the day before and we didn't catch anything there. So if you're only on a two hour trip and you're on that first time slot, you can actually waste some of your fishing time finding where the fish are and where they're going to hit for the day. Um, and that's another reason we booked a four-hour trip because I kind of thought that might be a possibility if the catching was a little slow for a while the more time we were there the more fish we would catch so if you're doing the two-hour I would recommend not taking the first time slot of the day but a four-hour what you'd be fine with the first time slot but the, it was a lot of fun uh, there was myself my mother-in-law and Carson were there and uh, we all we all caught fish. We, we all had a good time. Uh, the captain we had, his name was John. John was a great guy to talk to. So anyone uh, who's thinking about those Yellowstone Lake charters, we give them a thumbs up. Highly recommend them. And what did John tell us about um, the progress they were making with the cutthroats and the lakers in the lake? They trapped about what was that like a million or so it wasn't a million but it was an astronomical number i can't remember whether he said 338,000 individual fish whatever it was it was a lot it was a, like almost a mind-boggling number that they got out of there and uh, supposedly some of the uh spawning streams that the cutthroats run out of the lake and go up into to spawn the lakers are overrunning it no no, no. They weren't seeing numbers of cutthroats there in years past, and they're starting to see those numbers coming back. So they believe that they're getting, you know, the Lakers are never going to be wiped out, but they're getting them under control to where the cutthroats have a fighting chance of uh, at least gaining some of their repopulation that, that they had in the past. I, I doubt they'll ever 
get back to what they were, but, but they're making progress, so that was good to hear. So, what, what else do you have to say about our fishing trip? Um, not very much, but the engines, for 250 horsepower, Yamaha engines, they are really quiet. Yeah, they were quiet. Even when we were running full bore, they weren't that loud. They weren't that loud. I've been on a few boats where they deafen you, and uh, they were gas engines, so uh, you weren't getting overcome with diesel exhaust. And uh, he also told us right at the marina, Bridge Bay Marina, the day before when he came in, it was really hot. And how many elk did he say were out in the water swimming out there? Like six, I think. Yeah, all bulls. And they were out in the water playing. They saw a moose walking in the water the day before. Yeah, and, and they have a resident elk herd around there that was in yeah, there. Yeah, and didn't, didn't the black bear swim across that bay also yeah, the day yeah, before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you can actually see some wildlife right around the marina, but uh, we really looked forward to that trip and it lived up to our expectations 100%. We, we can't wait to uh, go back and do it again the next time. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed our video. We provided you a little bit of information you can use. Thanks for taking me fishing, bud. Yep, and the one island is that was actually called Dot, it's the smallest island of them all. It was actually a zoo back in, in the 20th century, and it would it was 50 cents to get out there, I think, and <laughs> and you had to pay two dollars to get back on the boat, where they just leave you there. Yeah, they would threaten to leave you. That was one of the uh, interesting stories that John told us about. But uh, he was a good guy. We really enjoyed fishing with him, and. Uh, once again, we recommend these trips. It was a great time. So yep. until next time, this is Mike and Carson, Together Time Outdoors. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing.